hi in this uh, video tutorial i'm going to show you how to use json library to convert java object into its equivalent json representation and also how to convert a json string into its equivalent java object all right so json is a java library that can be used to convert java object into its json representation and it can also be used to convert java string its, uh, to its equivalent java object all right so 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 first we need to add a uh, json dependency to our project so if you are using maven then you can just copy this uh, json maven dependency and you can add to your palm.xml all right so if you are using gradle project then you can just google out a json library and you can just you know uh, add a json library to your gradle project all right so let's first see how to convert a java object into its json representation with an example and later we also see how to convert a json string into its equivalent java object so let's first see how to convert a java object into its json representation so before we write a code so first we need to define a java object that we are going to serialize all right so first let us uh, see here this is a student object student class this is a simple student project class it has a private fields like student id student name and set up student student phone numbers all right so phone phone is again a java project class which we have defined here it has a private fields like phone id phone type and phone number all right so notice here student have a one to many relationship with a phone number it means that student can have array of phone numbers so that we will see in a json all right so once we have a uh, java pojo classes in place now we can populate a java uh, class object and we can convert the java object into a json all right so look at here this is the sample uh, snippet uh, here first we need to create a json object using json builder so we use json builder uh, here because we need to print a json pretty to the console and we can we can work with the json in a different uh, configuration using json builder so uh, and then we create a student object so here you can see this is a private method where we have created a student object uh, for example it's a student object and this is a phone phone object phone one object and we have added this phone object to the set and we have you know added that for a set of phone numbers to the student object and we have returned a student object here all right so now we have student object now how to convert this student object into a json string so notice here we have two json method uh, we just need to pass a java object which we need to convert into a json so here we are passing student object and which we which convert a student object into a json so again we have printed a json to the console so we will see this example in an action later all right so this is how we typically convert a java object into a json using to json method now let's see how to convert or deserialize a json string into java object using json library so again notice here uh, we are using the same student and uh, phone uh, java project classes so student object has array of phone numbers so look at here uh, we have hard coded a json string here and we convert this json string into its equivalent java class so how to do that so look at here uh, we are using form json method and we are passing a specified json object and uh, here again we are passing the type of a java object that we need to convert so here we are passing student object now so so form json method will convert a json string into it's equal in java object and uh, in our case it is a student object and we are printing student object to the console so this is typically we use uh, you know json library to convert java object into a json and json into java object all right let us see this example in an action in eclipse id all right let me switch to the eclipse and let me show you the working example over there so before that 
So notice here I have hosted source code of this example on a GitHub repository. So uh, here is the link. So I will provide this link uh, in a video description so that you can go through it and you can check out the source code over there. Alright, let me switch to the Eclipse ID here. So look at here the same example I have already explained. Like we have student and phone Pojo classes and we have created a student object with the setup phone numbers. And we have converted student object into a JSON string using two JSON method. Alright, let's go ahead and let's run this program. Right click run as Java application. Look at here the JSON which is printed on the console. So we have a student object and uh, you know array of phone, phone numbers. Alright, so this uh, JSON string is printed on the console over here. Perfect, right? So we have student uh, object and we have array of phone numbers in, in student object. So let us see how to convert a JSON string into a Java object. Alright, so we are using same uh, student and uh, phone classes over here. So look at here the the, the JSON string which you we have you know seen in a previous example that is in serialization so this json string i have you know hard coded in a program and uh, i try to convert this json string into java object so here we are using from json method to convert a json string into student object it's pretty simple right so let's run this program and let's see the output yeah here we go so this is the student uh, java object that i have printed on a console it's pretty simple right so this is how typically we convert uh, java object into json and json into java uh, java object using json library all right so you can learn more about uh, you know json tutorial here i have i have created and published around uh, you know, 10 plus json library examples over there that meets your requirements so whenever you are using json library in your project so you just you can check out these examples so one of one of, one of the example will definitely meet your requirement all right thanks for watching i will see you in the next video